Thanks for staying with us. So a video went viral, uh, of, I think a couple of days ago, about a woman um, allegedly trying to discipline somebody else's child, maybe like a teenager. And obviously, there was a back and forth. The woman raised her hand, and the girl obviously responded by hitting the woman again. Mm. Of course, this video went viral. And it raises the question, how do you discipline somebody else's child? Um, what right do we as parents have to correct another person's child, uh, not just within Nigeria, especially outside Nigeria, when the cultures and um, way of life is different from ours? What are your thoughts on this? Some of you have probably seen this videos. Others have us. I'm not sure we can show it, but if we can, that will be great. But if not, but the idea really is um, that how do you discipline someone else's child? You can call us on 0812705368709139076948. You can also send us messages on YouTube and Facebook. We'll be happy to read your messages. So this video went out, and we all, everybody had different mixed feelings on, okay, what was right. We're first assuming that the young girl probably did something really bad because for a woman to raise her voice, to her that way, we're assuming she probably did something bad. So if we, if we stay with that assumption, if a, if a teenager does something wrong to you outside, not your child, what's the appropriate way to carry it out? Do you think that woman's way of shouting at her, yelling at her in public, where everybody's looking at her, and then going ahead to raise a hand, was that the appropriate behavior? Let me start with you, Mary. I don't think it was the appropriate behavior the way it ended. But I feel now, using the assumption that she may have been correcting her, I don't want to use discipline, because usually when we use discipline, we think that someone came, at least Nigerian context, <laughs> someone came with a cane to whip you. But this seemed like a woman had corrected a young lady in front of her and said something about that's not the way to act in public. And I don't see anything wrong with an older person telling a younger person, whether the person is known to me or a stranger, that's not how to, young lady, that's not how to act in public. But I think it was the girl's response to her that degenerated you know, into what almost became a phys physical fight. And um, I remember growing up, there were times where older people have said something to me, and in a bit to defend myself, I had raised my voice and shown how upset I was. And my mom, and even though I was right, my mom says, well, what you have done has countered exactly. whatever right you had in the first place, because you do not talk to an adult this way. There's a way you can still tell me how this adult did the wrong thing. So for me, what I saw there was just so totally wrong on the young girl's side. Mm. Now there's also the part of Nigerian adults where we have this, uh, where, we're, where we think we're entitled to respect from everybody and anyone. So this is a new world that we need to navigate. It's okay to still be a Nigerian person and correct someone, but know that your correction may be looked at as overstepping your boundaries, but do your correction and move on. Mm -hmm. So don't think that you now have to take the extra step to beat someone or raise your hand at mm. someone. And they, you know, the accents that were flying around, it looks like it was, you know, or in mm. Boland, where they will handcuff you even for shouting at your own child. Yeah. So I think that we need to understand that it is not, it is not our right, right to expect to be okay. respected back, but just do the right thing, correct the person and move right. on. Your, your initial thoughts on this topic when um, you saw the video? Um, different uh, angles to it. My first thought is, uh, have we lost what it means to have good manners. You know, good manners from the side of you as an adult and good manners from the child in mutual respect for, from adult to child. I felt that the, child, the, the girl was very rude and did not use good manners. And because we know it was a foreign land, it was obviously a foreign land, but the, the woman felt like you are a black person, you know, like you probably an African. Because I, 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 while in the U.S., I met a lady and she, I saw her name tag. I knew she was a Nigerian. So my response, my expectations of our conversation was different. I think that the, when, whenever we take our children to the Western world, we should not, we, we should understand that even the white people across all race, there's something called good manners. Good manners is respect for adults, opening the doors for someone. You don't shut, you don't slam the door back on the person behind you. You greet people. You know, you're polite. These are good manners regardless of culture. And we must still emphasize that good manners should be respected regardless. Now, the woman shouting is a typical Nigerian woman who feels like their own way of correcting you is to dominate you. And like, it's a, it's a dominant, it's yes, it's, they want to dominate you. We're already trying to address that. And I think that we should use this platform to also address that when you want to correct someone, it's not by you shouting the person down. If, you, if the person cowers down to you, does not mean you have achieved any positive change. 
They are just doing it in front of you. But in your back, she would come back and say all sorts of things. And if you really want to achieve correction, find a way to communicate, especially mm. when you're dealing with teenagers. But I feel there was lack of good manners on both sides. And we need to go back into developed worlds where they say, if you beat a child, you get arrested. The child is a child of the state, it's not your own child. We see the result of that. So parents need to take more ownership of and responsibility over the child they have and <laughs> raise them well. But let me, I'll, I'll take your initial thoughts, Nima, because I know that the world uh, is also appreciating the fact that Africa is like that last frontier where there's some there's some remnants of respectability for adults. It's that they, there's culture. still that culture of discipline amongst us. So yes, we the new world gives that liberty to even a child, but People are coming to see that, okay, I think it would have been better if I can, if we can show respect. But Nima, in, the, in, in this situation, didn't that adult also act childish by raising her voice? Do you think... Is it, uh, she did. She, I, I saw the video and I felt she wasn't emotionally intelligent. I had... I still have several mothers. I call a lot of people mother because of the kind of mentoring that I had growing up from every home and every friend around. And you'd find... Strangers who are supposedly in your mother's age range wanting to correct you in public comport themselves better. So she had the duty to be an example to that girl, no matter what that girl was doing there. And the language of correction wouldn't have been for her to raise her voice. She had thought to play to the gallery, raise her voice, gather, you know, pity party, Sent and see to portray the girl ah, as the home video that's way. The, that's why I said yes. To portray the girl as someone mannerless, let me call a crowd, yeah, that yes. kind of thing. So, you know, no and the, that, at least that got the reciprocation that you saw. I felt the girl felt, she would have seen as bullying and felt the need to want to talk back. So this is a girl who does not have the shaming that we had growing up. There's okay. this shaming, even when you're being bullied right. by an adult in the name of correction, <clears throat> We lacked the courage to want to speak up. Yeah. This girl spoke up. That's how I saw the video. So she had the duty to comport herself the way she wanted to be addressed and still be correcting this girl. This does not show emotional intelligence on the part of an adult. This was not an adult example. So you want to correct a young girl, you could say to her after a while, I know some people will come to me and say, ah, is that your dad? not that imam at the mosque? This skirt here, where is it not too short for you? You know, so when, and nobody else would have heard of that correction. Now, those days I would just cover myself in shame back home like that. So, if, if you wanted to call the crowd and I was a shameless child, I want your more. So, I would meet, I would scream that is he your dressing? Is he you that? So, 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 so this this crowd thing, I want us to stick on it. I will we'll still go back to this. This crowd calling is so freaking Nigerian. I'm sorry to use that language. You know, when something happens and both of you just want to have a conversation to so say, come and see your, see this child, come, come and see. And then everybody now starts gathering and the last stop, the bike man stops, the bus man stops, the bus stops, and they're coming down and everybody's like, come and see your dad. I'm thinking, what the heck? It's a shaming This method. happened. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just trying to have a conversation with you. Yeah. No! And I'm like, what the heck is wrong with you? So this is the same issue. So the child offended you. And you think by calling the crowd, by making, raising your voice, would attract uh, sympathizers, sympathizers <laughs> to the matter. I think, ah, well, yeah, no, I no. And unfortunately, this is not Nigeria. You know, <laughs> so someone's going to su support you in this kind of regard. There's a proverb that Yorubas say that, um, Agbala Gbawafin, your mode journey. It's mm, like, it's still wrong. yeah, that it, it's wrong, but that if the, the fact that you are an adult is something you used to cheat a child because you can see a child and say, I'm an adult, I will take your meat. There's nothing you can do about it. That we use adulthood to cheat our children, and we've carried, this woman obviously carried that same character to the abroad. Mm -hmm. So the fact that you're an adult doesn't mean you should cheat the younger one, because that young person is an adult as well. And uh, while I'm against her reaction, I feel her reaction shows bad manners, lack exactly. of culture, mm -hmm. but um, that idea of us feeling like I'm an adult, whichever, even if I am a goat, you should respect uh -huh. an older person. Or even, even if you're cheating, where you come back? Let me go on a quick break. Can we come back? Because I know of, I mean, they, 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 taking us back to US now, I know of somebody who got her parents arrested. Hey, hey. I mean, it happened in my presence. Come Stay on, with us and break back. Come on, come on. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Yes! yes! Nah, 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 that was wrong. I mean, I, I mean, wrong. listen. 
both were to wrong. call you a fool. Yeah, but it's wrong for a child to call you a fool. Absolutely. Why would you raise your hand on someone else's child? It's a trigger. Ah, you cannot be a Nigerian parent. You're an adult. Based on age. Small girl. Hey, hey. Calls you an adult. It triggers. But in Nigeria, you can actually, in fact, in Nigeria, if a child calls you a fool, you can get the whole neighborhood <laughs> to, to pounce on that child. So it triggered her Nigerianness. But I think she would have, um, you know, avoided what happened yeah. from, you know, from the, from the moment that girl turned around right. and started talking to her. She would well, have Mary, just walked away. I want us away. to focus on, mm. do you have a right to raise your hand on someone else's child? No, no, child? of course not. Because, yes, okay. she goofed, ah. yes, she called you a fool. Me, but I, if someone else's child, they, they would you really raise your hand? Your somebody, who, your, your own child, right listen correction. now, your child is out there doing something, mm -hmm. maybe she goofed. And somebody now raised your hand or hit no. your child. Okay, so, the teenage boy. Boy. so I don't, I, I, let me put it this way. Yeah. I believe a child should be corrected. Yeah. I don't believe a child should be beaten, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So, um, the correction, that raising, you know, it's, it's um, when we lose control of ourselves that we raise hands. Yep. Mm -hmm. That we'll use skin. We, we, it shows that we've lost control. So that woman was not behaving like an adult. She has lost control of herself. So she you now can't raise hand and go and and this one will be quiet. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. So who is where, it? Where, where, so so for where, me, where, growing, I, I would say that you. I, I would. My first line is say raise hands because let's find a way to. If a child is going wayward, you better do everything you can to bring. Mm -hmm. And I want if if you see my child doing something wrong. You better shout. If my child comes to your house and the child is, do, is taking something, yes, you correct say, my you child. You correct the child. Yes. Correct my child, but don't raise your hand. I'm telling yeah. you guys now, yeah. my children should visit you. If they do anything wrong, correct them, but do not raise your hands at my child. I will okay. not take it. <laughs> but you can correct with words. You can correct with action. Exactly. I have had a friend who she took uh, my daughter and her, and her daughter. They went out and she had mm. said to them, don't go outside till I come and pick you. Mm. And she found them playing in the rain. And they're supposed to go somewhere. She punished them. Brought my daughter back home and took her child back home. Like, you know, I'm very disappointed in both of you. And she told my daughter, my daughter came home sad. I'm so disappointed in both of you. Mm. I said you should stay here and you both went out in the rain. And she called me and said, I'm not taking them there anymore because they did not listen to me. And that thing went a long way. I would not have any woman raise their hands at me because that's the same way this teacher asked the parent if they could cane her three year old. She said, okay. She also gave permission. Let me, let me and the woman did it what she thought was best, right. you know, right. to right. do. So, let me take this call. I'll come to you. Hassan, okay. are you there? Thanks for calling. Oh, let's Sorry, go ahead. So, there's something I do. If children are visiting my house and, my, and they all do something wrong, to make an example to that child because I, don't, I did not get an express permission from their parents to correct that child. I beat my own children in front of those children. Well, something not something do. Called, you beat no, your child for no, something they, you they did not together. Do. Okay. So I single out my own that you, you should know better. I would cane my child in front of that child. Then I'll wait for the feedback. I'll tell the parents of that child, because this is what I'll do. This is what happened, what both of them did. They probably were playing in my house, broke something expensive, and I caned my child, and I sent your own back home. If your comment is, ah, it's okay, that's how you like it. That child will no longer be allowed to play with mine because the example might just be from there. When my own child is visiting you and does something outrageous, you know, except you did not beat your child, you have to beat all the parties. If you did not beat all the parties and you beat only your own, what you're doing is... What if it's your own I, child that did the wrong thing? That, that, exactly. Mm, if it's your own child that did so the wrong thing. So if my child did the wrong thing... No, no, if it's her own child that did the wrong thing, that's what I mean. At your house. If my child did the wrong thing... Mm. And you're a parent that I already trust your opinion of the way you're raising your own, I would not mind. Because if it is something I would beat my child about, I will not come and fight you over it. <laughs> this is like, no, that's how I head. do my own. No, let me finish. Let me take, so my child. children <laughs> play with a few friends. And they notice now, I will say, ah, no, don't, don't let the children not come. It's because of things like this. Because when I don't beat your child and I beat mine, my child will be wondering what the example is. Mm. Okay, let so me take this call from Prince. If, if you're not okay, they, then maybe they shouldn't play together. Let me, let me take this call from Prince Shola. Are you there? My child, sure. Hello, because Prince Shola, are you there? <laughs> Hello? Yeah. yeah, you're live. Go ahead, please. I'm connecting with uh, Moriah and the lady. Yes, you're speaking to Moriah. <laughs> Go ahead, sir. You're live. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, you're Moriah live. Here. Yes, you're live. Yes, Go uh, ahead, please. I'm Moriah and the, and the lady. Yes, I'm listening to what you are discussing there with interest. I'm calling from London. Welcome to the show, I sir. I have my family here and I raise my children here. Can I just mention two things quickly, Mwari? You see, let us respect our culture. And we know that, yes, we are Africans. I'll give you two examples here. You see, in the 90s, I think I've mentioned it before in this program, I worked in an hospital in the 90s here, you know. 
And on the floor of the hospital, we were discussing about issues like this, you know. Thereby, those uh, people, uh, the, the patients in the hospital, they are elderly people. Yeah? It was a geriatric world. They were saying, in the 70s, in this England, people come on the, uh, on the TV like this, on the media, and they were start saying all sorts of things. That is where, why they don't have a culture. They do respect African culture, and they, they are losing it today. Please, don't let us lose our culture. A child cannot abuse an elderly person. And I believe the four of you sitting there, this morning I've talked about this to you before, how you are being corrected and, and how uh, your parents treated you or how they be when you are growing up. I'm not talking about bullying. Please, let this be clear. Bullying is different. A child doesn't have that uh, audacity to be rude. When we were growing up in Nigeria, I grew up, I went to Mifla. I told you before, when I said, that's why you beat me with the all this cocotla. You guys, you ladies say, ah, listen, it right. makes me who I am today. Thank you very much. Please don't quickly address, because, yes. um, um, so the, here's the question. Do you need to know someone to respect the person? No. no. Of course so, the, the, you know, that she kept saying again, I don't know you, I don't need to respect you. You know, my mother, you mm. know, my parents, I don't need to respect you. Even, even the white of white human beings, even the one that is blue, blue, blue eye, green eye, when you bow, would not talk like that. You know, and we need to raise our children to, you can speak up for yourself, you, they must learn the to level of emotional intelligence to walk away from a place that mm -hmm. is giving you crisis. Mm -hmm. Anything that is rubbing you wrong, walk away. That lady aggravate the somebody is attacking you. Mm -hmm. You descend to their level the moment you attack the person back. Mm -hmm. What she did was a, an older woman ignorantly was attacking you. You now decided to attack back. You become like you become like yeah, that person. About, where, where and her language was very, very talk bad. About, where, so if we say the adult, if an, if, if, wait, 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 if you are if you find yourself in a relationship with if you see a mad person and the mad person comes to you, mm. do you now attack Isn't the mad it, person? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, if he's a child and an adult, an adult. Yeah. you're putting the onus so on the, the child. No, no, I'm saying if you face if an adult is behaving like a mad person, you become mad when you fight the adult back. This is an now. Talk about this is the age where you show the successes. Is the maturity of the adult to be able to predict that exactly? I agree. This she was wrong. Yes. So at the point where you're trying to correct a child, mm -hmm. an adolescent particularly yeah. in secondary school, and the child is not accommodating your approach, you keep quiet and walk okay, away. Wait, oh, if you are lucky to know the parents of the child, you can then sit there and try to get... People, that, the people that back. raised us in the communities that we lived in, that were not parents Let me of give us, you one story. they did more right. than this. They, right. went, they took it further. I remember the woman who saw me with the friends I kept. I kept too many male friends growing up. And she wasn't <laughs> comfortable about it. She told my mom about it. She didn't confront me because she thought if you had done that, maybe she would have... I, I came home, my mom, my mom said, I later met her as an adult. With the way she said her name, I remember the name of the person my mother quoted as saying I was keeping those friends. And immediately I greet till today, I stop every day to right. greet her because she lives in my neighborhood now. So sometimes let the people take it further. She should have walked away from that child we if agree. she could have. But so, don't put the onus of responsibility of example no, on the child. child. Yes, I agree with you. You know, you know, in, in my house, I mean, my husband, his modus operandi is the typical Ikiti man, you know, and he raises his voice sometimes. So my kids say something in the car and with their, with their friend, his friend's daughter. Mm -hmm. And he raised his voice. And my kids are used to, daddy is shouting. <laughs> and the little girl was so traumatized, like, what in the world? She got home and told her dad, this best daddy went crazy. <laughs> like, my kids were normal. When I want to cry, I want to cry. No one here. But she was traumatized. Mm -hmm. she, couldn't, she couldn't stop the fact that he shouted. Because in her own house, her father doesn't shout. <laughs> he talks to her on that level of, you did wrong. This is what she did. And they had that conversation. When well, my house, it is, eh, you did wrong. The whole house is shaking. <laughs> so knowing that the way you raise your child, mm -hmm. yourself, your own um, way of raising children is different from the next person. It is, not, it is not your own responsibility to raise another person's child the way you raise yours. Mm. So if my child comes to your house and your way is to beat my child because I did wrong, in my own house, I don't beat my child. Mm. So you have no that right to use your own standard so for my own child. And that's what you have. So, but so one child reports what my child did them. to me. Mm -hmm. And I will now use my own standard to, yes, to correct about, that child. Yes, and apart mm. from that, there's also a normal standard for all human beings. The first thing, even before you raise your hands, you talk about mm. it, right? So mm. we're saying that, we're not saying do not correct that child. We're just saying do not take it to the level where you're not hitting the child. Mm. So I would be very upset if I hear that the first thing you did, oh, you did this and pow! That no. wasn't what happened. No, listen, no, I'm not listening to what I'm saying. Mm. And it's not 
I was talking to this person and then it escalated. There's a difference. So mm. if my child has come to your house and she's done something wrong, I would like to hear that. I, you know what will even happen with my children? Before you tell me, when they get home, they will say, to me, this is what I did. Uncle Franz, mommy punished me by this, this, this. You know, but if you hit them, they'll not even tell you what they did. I went to Gufran's mommy's house and she just <laughs> beat me, you know. So tell them what they have done. Well, that's how I've raised my child. Tell them what they have done and tell them why you're punishing mm -hmm. them. And then you tell me as well. And then I'll enforce, you know, further punishment. But by the time you hit my child, then we're not having a conversation about what that child so, did so, so how, or how you hit my child. Okay. Let members. me go on a quick break. When we come back, we're going to take some calls and messages. I want to hear from Nigerians on this. Stay with us. We'll be mm -hmm. right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. We are still on this matter of how to discipline someone else's child. So we've moved away from the video a bit and now mm -hmm. talking about our own experiences, mm -hmm. what we think is the right approach, especially when your children go to someone else's house and they do something wrong. What's the best approach in how to discipline someone else's child? I have Tolu on the phone here from Ogba. Good morning, Tolu. Are you there? Hello, Tolu. Hello, Tolu. Are you there? Okay, I, I don't think we have so, that so we have Let's take a few messages. There's, there's Let me read. Of Sam yeah. Olu says, kids abroad are raised to challenge any form of abuse or oppressive behavior that is common in Africa. So if you believe you are Af an African parent and you think you deserve respect and can correct any child in public by raising your voice or hand against him or her, they will treat you up. Um, <laughs> the kids Black, back says, yes. Yoruba will say, Kole Boloju, that mm. in, this one don't tear eye, that's mm -hmm. talking about the girl. Carvid, Car Carly David says, you can't go around threatening teenagers that you will beat them and expect respect back. And even in Nigeria, it's the same. Um, um, Hi A says, don't worry, the police will humble her. The, the <laughs> thing is, I like about it is that the state is against women, so even the parents cannot stop the prosecution. So, talking about where they are, the country they are in. But me, this is what... Let me, let me even pause you. Let me mm -hmm. take Tolu. Tolu is back. Tolu, are you still there? Hello, Tolu, are you there? Go ahead, Neymar. So, um, the Yorubas will say... Mm -hmm. So, it means that in a public place, there's always an adult guiding. Custodians of the culture. Custodians of... Not even just culture, of, of right behavior and morals, as someone to correct all the time. So, this is how I see it. If I must keep your child, you must be comfortable around me and around how I treat my own children, or if I don't have children, about me, something that you know. You don't just take your child up and give to a stranger that you know you're not comfortable about their form of parenting. My nephew was visiting during this last holiday, and the first time they did something wrong, I let it go. This is something I would usually have my children face the wall for. The second time, and then something terrible. I think the third time or so, they just ate left their dishes everywhere, they were watching TV. And when I came, my, children, my daughter was like, we all ate together, it was him, it was... I said, eh, in my own house. So I got my cane. I caned my children, and then I left my nephew. I noticed that they were all looking at him like, eh, so you have special heads. It's not, it's not comfortable, I had to do something right. So the next time I told him, I said, all, oh, everybody involved, yeah. including yourself, and I said to him, including yourself, we get a bit, I don't want to know who did what, mm. you know? So from there, take this call. I said to you know find other alternatives. But you must have a child within your control, your guardianship. You must correct the child. Let me take this call from Blessing. Blessing, are you there? Oh, we lost Sorry, that call. Blessing. I remember. I mean, I grew up with my my, my, my auntie, Mrs. Adesha Kong, and she used to spank all of us together. I mean, I think she's the only person that probably just. But she was always careful with me, you know, because it's no one else's child. You don't know how to discipline the person. Yeah, really, but for me, Sha, I was like the only girl in the mix, and there are times where I goof. She will spank me, and then when, I, my mom, when my mom comes back, she tells my mom exactly what she did. It was normal then, mm -hmm. but in today's times, is it still acceptable? Because that's, I mean, I've, shared this, I've shared this story several times, where I traveled to Ajashe, I came back with hair, to my bum bum, as an eight-year-old child. I came back, to, I told my mom, telling my mom, mom, I see my hair. My mom was looking at me, ah, this small girl, because it was my stepmother that the area that we did that hair. And she was looking at me, because she's like, when my dad, so she assumed maybe daddy, daddy approved it. So she was just reluctant, yeah, eight-year-old, with long hair. I went to my auntie's house the next day. She just, she just saw the, the hair. She didn't even ask me any questions. Yeah, just carried scissors and snipped it out, cleaned the lipstick on my lips, lipstick. and looked at me. Ah, ah. Just, so I, I felt like, ah, what's wrong with this auntie? But mm -hmm. my mother was even happy, yes, thank God somebody else did it for her. Yes. So that was then. 
But if that happens today, Gufra comes to your house Please, so. with long hair hmm. and you think, it. and you just put a pair of scissors and cut it off. Would you do that today? No, I will no, say no, thank no. you. I will, I will not. <laughs> I would not put a pair of scissors. She's coming from your house. I mean, she's coming from Please. your house, but, but let's just say, ah. okay, let's use an example. Let's say I'm Gufran's guardian. Hmm. So I know I have permission to sort of help her where, where she's yes. not there. Let's say, like in secondary school, because sometimes our children go up to the hostels and then they stay with guardians. Mm -hmm. Of course, I'll cut the hair off because I'll do the same for my daughter. Yes. I remember growing up when we would use lipstick. My mom would say, you know that pumice stone? Mm. She would make me use it to wash my lips so that I would never try it again. So I understand that. And for me, that sort of, um, that sort of correction works. Where the child understands what they have They're done gone. and the punishment that they are getting. And the, remember the punishment in such a way that will deter them. But you see that beating. I have been beaten by people that were not my parents <laughs> for a reason that they thought was right. But from, and, and when I um, talked to my mom about it, I would expect her to, you know, stand up, you know, pro, sort of protect me. Like, oh, you shouldn't have done that. And it's like, well, you sort of deserved it. That, mm. I still remember that, and I remember it with a bit of anger. Yeah. Like, no, I didn't deserve it. You were not there. You don't know how it happened. Mm. But this person felt that the way they felt at that time, that was what I deserved. You may not have handled it that way. And so that's for me. Because I know where I'm coming from, I'm trying to stop it for my children. I don't yeah. want people beating my children based on the, their own interpretation the of what, what a child has done. Mm. I know some people who would see a child with the long hair and immediately call her names. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Heavy names that that's you've never called your child. Yeah, that's how it starts. You look at you, look at how you're dressed. But you may see it and know that this is a child just making a mistake. No, you're not old enough for this yet. But that person now uses those words. And so I have to be careful right. with the Let way me take this call and come to talk about raising their Momo, are you there? Now. Hello, Momo. I think our phone lines have been so, issues so, this morning. Uh, Momo, are you there? Volume. Let's take some more messages I, I from think YouTube. It, I, I, I think that right for them, no, it's, it is almost impossible for one individual to, in fact, for a parent to raise a Hang child. In there, I think he's back. Hello, Momo, are you there? I can hear you, sir. Yeah. Go ahead, please. You're live. I can hear you. It's too very, very obvious. It's not too good that you keep people online for so long when you are discussing. Yes, I'm here. Oh, seriously. Um, you see, when we're growing up, some of them, my sister here from Aruchi, and from there do as well. When we're growing up, when you, when you do as a child, everybody is meant to correct you. Forget what the kind of system we are living in. That is why the whole world is corrupt. That is why you see a lot of things happening, because some of the children feel that nobody can correct me. When we're growing up, if you do anything, you, you, you dare not do some certain things because everybody, everybody, everybody has that to correct you as a child. Because you feel that, okay, my child, you have to my child in the house, and if he or she or he or she does something wrong, and she will see that comfort outside to repeat the same thing outside. So the way we are being treated, the way we are brought up, is the same way people who are being brought up these days. We are, we are the children of 70, 60, 70. And now you have the children of 90s uh, and all this race, and you find out that the child is just... So you say, when they go up, you can be in your head and Oh, well, the, the line is getting blurred. We can, it's getting muffled. I couldn't hear you very well. But I, I think I got the better gist of what you said. Let me let up a wrap-up because I have to move on. So um, I'll say that we have lost communal living. Mm. Everybody is now more... Um, me, myself, and I. Me, myself, and I. And while we might question how well the community supported individuals, it helped to have someone else look out for your child. It helped to know that there's some, if anything happens that I'm not available, there's someone that would have my back. I believe that as human beings, as adults, we must learn to control our emotions. We must learn not to resort to physical battery to, to deal with emotional issues that we can resolve verbally. That applies to both the child as well as the adult. I also feel like adults should behave like adults. Children are children, and they might regret their action, but adults are expected to be wise enough yeah, exactly. to know better part time. Whether you are in Nigeria or you are in America, you are allowed to, I believe, you should, I believe in correction, but I believe that we should, it should be done with love and it should be done in a cordial way so that the message is passed along, okay. not get distracted with we the noise. We have to run. Um, that's all we can take on this segment, but my own is like, when you're in the abroad, though, this is your Nigerianness. Turn it down, well, if not, you find yourself in the <laughs> police station. Because I, I have seen it. It has happened to my aunt before. Her daughter got her arrested, and she stepped in jail for at least two nights before mm -hmm. everybody gathered around and hung Bella out. So it is real.
Just take it easy. Your Nigerianness. When you when you reach Muntala, turn it down a bit. Just stop assaulting your children in the name of um, discipline. discipline. That's my own. Mm. Right. All right. Let's go on a break. When we come back, we'll bring in a woman we love. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.